the same one of these things before. It is the flotation tank, sensory deprivation tank. That's water with a ton of Epsom salts dissolved in it. So, turn the lights off and things in it. So, all the lights changing it and stuff. So, or you can turn it off completely and just have it completely black and floating it like the Dead Sea. And that's what I tend to do is turn everything off. That's complete sensory deprivation. Shower before and shower after, because obviously you're covered in Epsom salts. But yeah, absolutely amazing. Whew. So we've just finished our float flotation thing, haven't we? Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. that's my daughter <laughs> in the background who paid for it for me for Father's Day. I know Father's Day was last week, but the appointment was for this week. Um, but if you've never had a chance to go in one, you should go in one. They're amazing. Uh, really strange feelings, like complete weightlessness. Like, but you, you, you get that as well. Where you literally don't feel yeah. your body, do you? You get to a certain no. point. And it's like your arms and legs have disappeared, if that makes sense. Um, and you, you can either go in like with a swimming costume on, or you can go in with nothing on. I go in with nothing on because it, then it's like you complete. You got nothing touching you. Then it's complete like sensory deprivation. And they give you like earplugs if you want to put them in, and um, they give you like a flotation thing if yeah. you want to put behind your head if you're not confident with your head. Like, I mean, you don't go under. You literally. It's it's like the dead sea yeah, it's literally is like the Dead Sea, and there's what there's a ton of Epsom salts in it, yeah. and, and just in each one of them. So for like te ten minutes before, you have like this dead relaxing music playing, um, and then it, it that turns off, and you can either keep the like the little LED light on, or you, you can turn it off. You have full control of it. Uh, there's a, an emergency switch on the inside as well if you you know contact them for anything, and then you, you get like. 45 minutes complete nothingness and then they give you like a five minute at the end of it where the relaxing music comes on so you know it's you know coming to all the end of your end of your session you've got total control inside the uh the, the flotation tank as well so it's it that you you operate it from the inside so it's not locking you you know it's on like a, a hydraulic this does like you have on a trunk a bonnet of your car so you can lift it up um you, you, you've got to give it a go. It's like a, it's a mad experience. And spot, mm -hmm. we, you see the, sometimes you see the flashing lights yeah. like I do. I, I meditate anyway, um, so it's kind of a, I, I meditate when I'm in there as well. But I meditate when I'm not in there. That makes sense. Kind of a different experience. But that floating, it's like it's, it's hard to explain. You can't explain it to someone really else. You do it. No, you've got to do it. Yeah, just it's like you, it's like you don't exist for a. Yeah, for, for, an for, for an hour in it, it's yeah, bizarre, yeah. absolutely. Oh, and you can hear your own heart beating. Like in, in your... So that's about the only thing you get to <laughs> sense is your own heart beating. And the only place I've ever heard that before is in a super tight squeeze in a cave where it's pushing against my chest and my back. And if I relax for a couple of minutes going through the squeeze and don't move, you can hear your heart, your own heart beating like bouncing back from the rock type of thing. So only place the only two places I've heard it is in a flotation tank and in this. Anyway, go and give her a go. They're awesome. Thank you, Shawnee. Mm -hmm.